I'm Matt Lombardo, Jordan Renan here at the Giants practice facility in East Rutherford getting ready for Giants and Cowboys week. Jordan, quick question for you here. How did the Giants, who struggled running the football last week against the Eagles? You know, I did well in certain places, didn't do well in other places, and, um, you know, there's, there's things I can do to get better. Uh, you know, overall, we, we didn't do very well as a team, so... You know, I can't say much for my performance either. You know, it's just we got to get better uh, this week for Dallas. How do they reestablish the run against the Cowboys, possibly without Rashad Jennings for a second straight week? Well, look, we know how important the running game is to this team. There are three wins, 125 yards plus rushing in all of those three games, under 85 in the three that they've lost. So the success of this offense is really predicated on their ability to run the ball. Uh, they can't just sit back and go and pass the ball. Their offensive line will not be able to hold up, even against the Cowboys' pass rush. So it's going to be a lot of uh, Andre Williams. Even if it's not successful early, they're not going to give up on that. Peyton Hill is, too, going to play a big role. The split was 50-50 last game. A lot of people think that was partially because they were losing and they needed to have Hillis and his all-around ability to sort of third down back. But I expect that to kind of continue. It's going to be close to a 50-50 split. Because of Hillis's versatility, it gives them more options. So they're going to pound Hillis, they're going to pound Andre Williams, and they're not going to give up on it, even if it's not successful early on. So there you have it. Peyton Hillis and Andre Williams could be in for heavy workloads in the absence of Jennings. He's Jordan Ronan. I'm Matt Lombardo, coming to you live from East Rutherford, New Jersey, for NJ.com.